ni mzuri kusema mambo ya eh, ukweli ni mzuri tujue maisha ya mtu wakati ulikuwa mtoto you behaved like a child wakati ulikuwa kama teenager you behaved like a teenager lakini ukisha kuwa mzee and i'm talking about jeremia kioni ile miaka naye ni mzee sasa ni jeremia kioni ni aibu kwa kenyans ile mambo naanza kule zina kuongea ni aibu sana kwa sababu wewe ni wakili ambaye wakili wakili amemaliza na umekuwa politician umeshikilia viti mingi lakini sasa kuwa chairman ya jibili we know what you are looking for kwa sababu kuna pesa political party inakuja na sasa lazima upige kelele na propaganda ili uweze kuwa na nafasi ya kugawa hizo pesa na kupata kitu ya kukula kwa hizo pesa kwa nini nasema hivi kwa sababu hivi kwa sababu Jeremiah Kion you know the truth hata Wambugo amenikwambia we mwenyewe na mlikuwa pale moja upinzani lakini Wambugo amekwambia ukweli do something else hiyo mambo ilisha ya uchaguzi na ni aibu kubwa kwa sababu watu wanakuja wewe ni wakili na kama ungekuwa na mambo ya ujuzi yako hiyo naongea sasa hii kuita media kuzungumza mambo mingi mingi ati uchaguzi ilibiwa sijui nini you could have over to yourself kusaidia azimio kwa nini na kwa kusaidia jibili potini you could have gone the court the court was open for all those days haonge kalimbia hata kidogo because you had no any point point zako ni only za propaganda serikali iliundwa mambo yake imemalizika now it is time for working na hii kufanya kazi si kwa pande moja ni sisi wote hata mkiwa azimio hata mkiwa wapi hata tukiwa UDA nitufanye kazi kwa mwananchi wa Kenya ili mwananchi wa Kenya aanze kufaidika si lazima afaidike fulani ya kiweko ama fulani ya sio kuweko uchaguzi kisha kisheria na kidemokrasia imeisha sasa ya kitu mungefanya mungekua muna jipanga for the next election. Na mwache uongo. Uongo hiyo ndiyo imeangusha nyinyi all through. Kwa sababu ukiangalia mambo ya ukweli hakuna kitu itaendelea kwa pandi enyu. Join the government you work together. We don't want you in a viva. But the president have shown you properly that he is ready to work with everybody for this country. Na amefanya mzuri sana. Kwa sababu hana shida na wapinzani. Anasema wachukue nafasi yao. Wapinge ile mambo wanaona itaweza kuwa mbaya, wakue macho ya ya, ya ya opposition which is very good and the opposition is very important in this country. Lakini sio opposition ya uongo kama hiyo hapo sasa unaanza kioni. Eh? Tangu wakati mlikuwa na Budavadi ukadanganya Budavadi na hata kula moja hakupata kwako. Sasa we omba mwaaidha. Na ujue saa hii yule ulikuwa anadanganya saa hii Mudavadi is very senior in the government. If your friends are if you not cheat him, ungekuwa saa hii mnazungumza mambo ya development. Kwa sababu Mudavadi is a genius leader na alijua kujipanga. Na alijua uwezo ule huko na president mwenyewe ili wakaweza kushikana waweze kuendesha nchi yetu ya Kenya na hilo watu wanapiga propaganda ya mambo mengi Kenyans it's very simple very simple i hope you hear me very simple si muende tu kwa clip ya Bobo Ino Bobo Ino muende tu kwa clip yake you get all the plans he had done in Bobo Ino akiongea hiyo ni azimio hiyo ni ODM na anasema mambo yote hata ile president alisema hata ya kushika kiche bukati we don't need to go somewhere else kuangalia babu wino amesema hiyo mambo yote which other clip do you want for the key person yule alikuwa ODM na azimio babu wino amesema vile ali approach kebisho ili wakamate chibukati eh kebisho akaduka akasema italetea hao shida and all other plans which they had made that the serikali taiba wao wataiba kula ni serikali all those things let's not discuss go on the clip ya babu oino and babu oino ni mzuri sana na kushukuru sana kwa sababu sometimes nafikiri nakuwa umeokoka 
ingawa una mambo mingi but i think sometimes you are christian kwa sababu hii mambo yote umetoa ya ukweli umetoa ya ukweli kuoneshana <laughs> you are not far from god kwa sababu you gave kenyans the truth of the of the program and the arrangement ile ilikuweko kwa deep state deep system na mpango yote ile mlikuwa unafanya iliweza kupatikana kwako babu hilo asante sana kuwa kijana ya kuzunguza mambo sa ingine ya ukweli i agree with you mambo yote ulisema it was true nothing but the truth saa hii ningeomba na Kenya tufanye kazi the present we have very active and you change this country lakini ningewambia the president he is doing his own work which he is supposed to do as a president but all of us we should join him forever somebody is pay tax do good things live propaganda prepare yourself for the next election because the issue now like you are saying now oh there is a vacuum oh ibc ibc all the problem we are facing now it is what was done by that government which was there it's the same problem and i'm telling you and i want to repeat again you know we have already been overtaken by border review which is very important because many constituencies are four times larger and with a voters number than other constituencies so if you don't do that you are not being fair in kenyans and when you are saying you are talking here and there saying you want to be a president the most important things ni hiyo kwanza kuangalia ukweli and equality that everybody we are equal and we are sharing the bread but right now we are not sharing the bread and really i've been singing this he is in opposition because the cake has not been divided the way it is how can you tell us you are telling us about now audit audit which you can do very well the government now it, it, it is there what we could have done now come and make a structure with the government put ibc those are the things you'll be talking put the chair so that now we have a vehicle for 2020 for 2027 but now if we don't have a vehicle and we are not talking about that vehicle you want the last minute you come up and say hey constituency border review you want it to be done the same time again you start saying now we are going for election how can ibc handle all that if they are not they have not stayed in the office enough so they can be able to prepare themselves when we do all those things the other thing we need to do and i know the president is ready for that and the parliament to make sure the budget have been done so the ibc can have their money and actually do the border review in a proper way without propaganda because i know now again when we are going to start about the border review now another politics will be taken there you want to be divided this way because of your family because of your relative you want to go this way because your clan is on the other side there's no clanism in the politics there's no permanent friend in politics more said politics and the friends those two things are different so don't be friendly with the region and you think you be favored when we are divide, we are doing the uh, border review let all of us be free and fair do border review prepare the vehicle of 2027 the president and the government to push for the money so give ibc enough money enough time so they can you know doing border review it need a lot of time and to take the data you know it's like doing the whole kenya election because actually it will be more political than even doing the election because you are going to touch all the constituencies the 290 you are going to touch all the counties because even in some counties they will be checked properly actually some of them they are suffering they have a very big number so I think the best thing which we can follow Kioni, please don't start making a lot of noise for nothing. But if you are making that for this money coming for political party, 
I will choose you for that so that you can be able to get some money inside. But if you're not like that, you are cheating Kenyans and we are not ready. There are many things we are supposed to do which are very important. And we support the president who is there. Actually, even if Leda could have won, we could still have supported him. Because it's not about Leda. It's about not about Ruto. It's about the Kenyans. Many things were not good. A lot of money was stolen. Structures were not there. Today, and I won't promise you, give time to the president. You see the things which he's going to do. I know he's so capable. And again, I'm so happy for him because he has finished the tribalism completely. And I want to tell you when he started this. When the handshake came, the agreement was to make a paramount chiefs. Kalonzo to be paramount chief on that side. Leila Odinga to be paramount on the other side. The other side, uh, maybe from central, they wanted me to make a paramount chief, the president or somebody else. But it did not work. The only the person who refused to be paramount chief is the president we have now, Samuel Rafuto. He refused to be a paramount chief of the Kalenjin or in the Rift Valley. And I want people to remember what he said. I'm not interested in that. I want to join Kenyans, put them together so that we can make a good country. And what he said it is what he is doing now. Putting on the Kenyans. Even people who are in Azimio, he is giving them a job. And I'm happy even when we went to Nyanza. It was very good in Nyanza. And Nyanza people, that's how we should stay. We are everywhere. And we should stay like that. Not be divided by somebody. And some of these people want to lead you in Akalonzo and Leila Odinga. These people have no any position. They are only holding their parties. But they have no any position to change anything. Because changing of anything is a Kenyans. It's not even the president, it's Kenyans, they have to change. So I'll talk on that. And I also say, Gonjiri, thank you for coming straight away and telling Kioni the truth. Babu Oino, thank you so much. And many people who are coming and talking the truth. Let's join our hands, let's work together. That's what I would like to tell Kenyans for today. It's completely. And I want to tell you when he started this. When the handshake came, the agreement was to make a paramount chiefs. Kalonzo to be paramount chief on that side, Leila Odinga to be paramount on the other side, the other side uh, maybe from central, they wanted me to make a paramount chief, the president or somebody else, but it did not work. The only the person who refused to be paramount chief is the president we have now, Samuel Rafuto. He refused to be a paramount chief of the Kalenjin or in the Rift Valley. And I want people to remember what he said. I'm not interested in that. I want to join Kenyans, put them together so that we can make a good country. And what he said, it is what he is doing now. Putting on the Kenyans, even people who are in Azimio, he is giving them a job. And I'm happy even when we went to Nyanza, it was very good in Nyanza. And Nyanza people, that's how we should stay. We are everywhere. And we should stay like that. Not be divided by somebody. And some of these people want to lead you in Akalonzo and Leila Odinga. These people have no any position. They are only holding their parties. But they have no any position to change anything. Because changing of anything is the Kenyans. It's not even the president. It's Kenyans. They have to change. So I'll talk on that. And I also say, Gonjiri, thank you for coming straight away and telling Kioni the truth. Babu Oino, thank you so much. And many people are coming and talking the truth. Let's join our hands. Let's work together. That's what I would like to tell Kenyans for today.